This was one of three boxes which we found under the bed once we'd removed the mattresses and the uh, mattress support. We found these items which had been stored in plastic boxes and unfortunately they'd got quite a lot of water inside them. So we are now drying them out. Um, this one in particular is a needlework screen and it was wrapped in a dust cover. I'm just going to peel the dust cover off so we can reveal the actual object itself and let it dry uh, more quickly than leaving the cover on. You just have to be quite careful that it's not stuck to the layer below. So that just peels off by itself, which is good. It's quite flaky. You see where some of it's, um, the edges are burnt here. I've got a scalpel and some tweezers just to release it as I go. At the moment, the needlework looks in really good condition, actually. So it's looking at the colours in particular. We have photographs of its original condition, and so we'll be able to compare. But it's got quite a brown tinge to it, so I'm thinking the, the dyes will have run and all blurred in together. So it'll be interesting to see how it compares. It tears very easily. We will peel back the cover in one, hopefully. It's in a wooden frame, so it's quite easy to cut around the edges. one of very few textiles which have survived the fire so it's really exciting that we are able to have a look at it now and see what condition it's in and it's pretty waterlogged and lots of the dyes have bled their colours into the dust cover and ooh, there's a bit of mould growth wow you can still see all of the picture which is amazing I'm quite hopeful it should clean up really well and it would be something we would be able to display in the house in the future.